Hello and welcome to the Antrim Grammar School Digital Technologies Department GCSE Choices presentation for the 2022-2023 academic year. In this presentation, we're going to look at what uh, the students will study in our, the two courses that we offer. We'll look at how they'll be assessed, the course content structure, and reasons why they should choose one particular subject over the other, if that's uh, what your child is thinking. First of all, we have the Business Communication Systems course. This course is split into three units. We have Software Applications for Business, in unit one. In unit two, we have the Business Environment, and unit three is Developing Software Systems. In unit one, the students will learn about the relevant functions in software applications and develop their skills in using them in business contexts. When using software applications, students should be aware of standard ways of working and best practice approaches. This statement will apply into the following topics within unit one, which will include file management, common software application tasks, word processing software, spreadsheet software, database software, presentation software, web authoring software, web browsing software, and internet searching and email software. And within this module, the students will be completing tasks that are very much hands-on and uh, practically based to, to build their skills and knowledge of using each of these uh, subject areas and, and skill sets uh, across the, the IT uh, offering. Unit one is assessed by a two hour external computer based examination at, and at, the, at the end of year 11. Uh, this is not a written exam, so it's, it's completely computer based. The students will be completing tasks uh, similar to what they've completed in class. And so they, they will be very familiar with the, the processes that they have to, to follow and the tasks that they'll have to complete. In unit two, uh, the, the business environment, uh, students will be will be looking at how uh, businesses are structured, but more importantly, how businesses use IT uh, to achieve their business goals. In this topic, we'll be looking at the types of business ownership, stakeholders, communication, digital training, uh, recruitment, selection, training, the implications of digital technology for business and uh, their customers, marketing and marketing research, and marketing mix. And we'll, and we'll be looking at how businesses apply these skills in the digital uh, technology field. This unit is assessed at the end of year 12, uh, where the students will sit a one hour external written examination. There will be structured questions in this exam. So, and uh, Value, values of the questions will, will vary between one and eight marks. Uh, so, so there will be different levels of application and answers required in this exam. Unit three then, uh, Developing Software Systems, is a unit that the students complete at the beginning of year 12, where they develop a digital solution for a business. Uh, this year it was a website, and so the students had to take a client brief and propo uh, propose and build their their solution to that that issue that, that was presented to them. The skills in unit three that we're, we will be assessing will be planning and research using software applications. So that, that will specifically be web editing and web development software and then how the students evaluate their own performance through the assessment. This, this unit lasts for 20 hours. It's completely based in school, and so students will be managing their own project and developing their solution for this problem within uh, this given time. And that will be uh, worked with the class teacher uh, who will keep them on task and, and on target. Our second course that we offer is computer, the GCSE in Computer Science. Similarly, it has three modules or three components, three units. Uh, the first unit is understanding computer science. The second component is com computational thinking and programming. And the third component is software development. In component one, then, the students will learn about computer architecture, communication, data representation, data structures, software applications, programs, algorithms, 
uh, logic, programming methodologies, and the impact of computer science on society. This component is worth 62.5% of the qualification. And so by the end of year 11, students will have completed uh, nearly two thirds of the course and been assessed in that externally. The topics then, we've, we've already covered some of these uh, in this module, but these, these will be the topics that the students will be studying and learning about in year 11. The written exam at the end of year 11 is one hour and 45 minutes and will be an external written, written exam. Component two then uh, will investigate problem solving, algorithms and programming constructs, programming languages, data structures and data types and security and authentication. This is worth 37.5% of the qualification and will go hand in hand with uh, component three where the students will be developing uh, a software solution. The exam is an on-screen uh, exam that lasts for two hours. Cut that out. Uh, component, th component three is an unweighted uh, element of the course, but it does teach students uh, the, the practical elements of programming, uh, problem solving, developing uh, algorithms, uh, object oriented programming. And this knowledge built in this module will help within the exam for component two because it will be the application of programming. And so the students will have that practical uh, knowledge of, of what is required of them. So we'll be able to, to speak authoritatively uh, in the exam. The component two is an on-screen exam that is two hours long. So why should your child choose business communication systems as a GCSE subject? Well, before answering this uh, question, it's important to note that in Antrim Grammar School, it is not a case of either business communication systems or computer science. It's completely uh, applicable that if your child is interested in both subjects that they can choose both subjects, provided the other choices uh, within within their GCSE choices fit the, the timetable and, and options. But if your child is interested in business communication systems as a GCSE subject, they will quite simply want an IT based GCSE qualification uh, that is not code focused. The, the BCS course does mix IT with bit with business studies and it, it does give a good grounding and a good, good application of knowledge in how businesses use IT to achieve their business goals. Uh, this qualification can lead to further study or a career in, in business, in digital technology or in ICT. There's a wide range of, of careers that your son or daughter may follow within IT and computer science is not absolutely necessary to be one of those subjects in order to follow uh, a career in that path. Your, your son or daughter may have IT skills and may be very interested in IT, but not so much for the code based elements of uh, key stage three uh, IT and digital technologies. And so it's it's entirely uh, applicable and understandable that they, they will want uh, to build their IT skills, but not focus on the programming elements. And so the BCS course would be an excellent choice for them. For computer science, uh, the, the case may be a little more simpler. Uh, if your son or daughter is interested in a career in computing or a potential course at university, in computer programming and software engineering, uh, in web, dev web website development, app design and development, computer game development or cybersecurity, then GCSE in computer science is an excellent choice and will give them a very good grounding uh, in the topic to build upon at A level and then when they move on to degree level, if that is the, the career path they wish to follow. Another indicator for the reason to choose computer science as a GCSE subject is that is if the your son or daughter has enjoyed the programming elements that have been covered during year nine and ten uh, in school. This last slide is is simply an advert as to what can happen what can happen next. Obviously, your child is is looking at their GCSE choices at the minute, but it would be uh, remiss to not 
indicate what can what career path they could follow at a level uh, so after gcse in uh, business communication systems or computer science uh, this last slide is simply an advert as to what antrim grammar school offer uh, in it at a level after bcs and computer science course at GC gcse we offer the gc the sorry the a level uh, in computer science and the level three BTEC qualification in IT. Both courses are very, very well received uh, at university level, and both courses will prepare your son or daughter for the, the uh, pursuing a course at university level in the IT field. And so we simply want to advertise at this point that while, while your son or daughter may be looking at uh, the business communication systems or computer science, uh, course at GCSE, we do continue to offer uh, to build upon these skills at A level in Antrim Grammar School. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation. I hope it's been informative. Uh, if you have any questions, you can contact the school and ask Miss Miss Campbell Nesbitt or Mr Johnson uh, or Miss Jones any of the questions regarding uh, any further details you might need. Thank you very much. Goodbye.